Welcome back to the Olympic Zone. You are taking a live look at Paris where it's approaching 1.45 in the morning. And you know, kind of hard to believe closing ceremonies for the Olympics are tomorrow. Yeah, it is hard to believe. But once those athletes head home, Paris will be making room for the Paralympics athletes headed their way to compete in just a few weeks. As our Nicole Aponte reports, the Paralympics can leave an impact on someone that lasts a lifetime. I bet a lot of us can't even remember what we had for breakfast yesterday. Mine 20 years ago, but for a professor here at Children's, 20 years ago feels like yesterday. Kara Ayers spends most of her days behind this desk, but two decades ago, a lot of her time was spent elsewhere. I grew up in Kentucky and we just didn't have the opportunities to try things, so it took till college for me to get there. In a pool. I just love the freedom that I felt in the water. Swimming became her safe haven. The water is just so freeing and also to have the opportunity for my body to um, defy expectations and really be fast and beat people, <laughs> you know, be competitive was really exciting. Kara was born with osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a disability that causes her bones to break easily. She gets around by wheelchair. So growing up, I had a lot of surgeries and a lot of broken bones that I needed to recover from, and uh, the water really provided a way to do that safely and quickly. So when she got this letter in the mail, saying she qualified for the 2004 Paralympics in Athens, Greece, a lot of self-doubt washed away. So the pressure was on, but I was ready, and it was an amazing experience. She was ready to prove that her disability does not define her. In our society, we get a lot of messages about how we need to overcome disability to succeed and to reach our goals. And I've really experienced in my life that I've integrated disability, accepted and celebrated disability. She connected with people far and wide from around the world. So one of the cool things about the village is that you trade um, different gear with different teams. And so I had a beach towel from like New Zealand. And this is a hat from the, Paralymp the Australian Paralympic team kit. Her memorabilia. And Adidas was our sponsor that year, which I remember being like excited about. For brings her back to the years of hard work she put in. It was super exciting because this was the first year that Paralympians got the same exact gear that Olympians got. No, she didn't place, but she says just swimming in that pool was probably one of the biggest wins she's ever had. And I think that really fueled my passion for even what I do today, which is to work on making the world a better place for people with disabilities. A lot of Kara's work today is centered around helping children with developmental disabilities, helping them get over similar hurdles she faced and find solutions. Reporting from the Olympic Zone at Children's Hospital, I'm Nicola Ponte. And by the way, the Paralympics Games will actually start on August 28th. We'll be right back.